Does Ben Hamper strike you as a sensitive intellectual? John, um, does Ben Hamper strike me as a sensitive individual? Uh, I haven't read anything that Ben has written. I have uh, spoken with Ben on a number of occasions at the Torch. I found Ben to be a very imaginative person, sensitive in his imagination, and uh, I believe that translates into his writing. I believe it does, I've been told it does. And uh, I believe that Ben is going to have an impact. He was a lousy tipper until he made it big. Now he's a good tipper. How would you describe Ben? Um, I would describe Ben as a um, cynic with a soft center. Does Ben Hamper strike you as a sensitive intellectual? Definitely. Ben's, Ben's very sensitive. <laughs> Sorry. He's so sensitive he makes me laugh. God, answer this question. How how would you describe Ben? A caring individual, a real family man, a uh, sensitive writer, uh, someone who puts words together very well. He's a wordsmith. He's a word wordsmith. Word drunk a lot of times. He's word drunk a lot of times. Se oh, sensitive man, yes. Ben's probably the most sensitive man I know. What do you think of Ben's deal uh, with Warner Brothers to get half a million dollars for a movie called Rivet Head about Flint? I don't know. It, it may, maybe it's like an offshoot of what Michael did, but <clears throat> I think I think something needs to be said. You know, I think a lot of people got the wrong idea of Flint with Mike's movie. Cause I, you know, I live here. I've lived here all my life, and I love this place. I wouldn't move for anything. Maybe we'll have Hollywood Midwest here in Flint, and Ben will be one of those people along with some of the others uh, uh, that have uh, contributed to that. Uh, Flint is becoming a hotbed for movie makers with Wendell Harris and Chameleon Street and, and Michael Moore with Roger and me. Uh, how would you compare uh, Ben Hamper and uh, Michael Moore? Uh, Michael's taller. Um, uh, they both have what I think is probably a little bit uh, left of center uh, sense of humor, which uh, uh, I like that neighborhood. Um, I think it's a good neighborhood. Uh, no for sale signs in that neighborhood, so uh, uh, property costs stay, or the uh, property values stay up. But uh, yeah, I, I, think they, I think they both have got a, a unique perspective, uh, a mind's eye view of things that most other people in, in, the, in the Flint and the state maybe don't have. Ben comes across as a real human being, who's, you know, it really involved his own, own personal struggle. A little less political, I like that. Ben is always truthful. I mean, even when he's insulting you, I mean, he's very truthful, and I think he'll be better. I think he'll be better. I just can't wait. I can't wait for this to come out. I think it's going to be great. I think that uh, Bill Murray should play Ben Hamper. That's what I think. That's really what I think. Uh, Not Harrison Ford. Not Harrison Ford. Bill Murray. Bill Murray. He has the moves. I totally agree with Josie. I think Bill Murray would be great. I mean, that... Uh, you, you you want an anti-hero, not a heroic figure. Who would you cast? I, well, first of all, I'd like a box office draw. I don't really care who they choose. <laughs> the mini pearl. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't know. I've been asked that question recently in the past few weeks. I don't have a set answer. I like Crispin Glover. Are you aware of him? No, Crispin I don't know. Glover, Crispin well, Glover he's is. he's a real wacko, and I think I don't know. But that's just me. I actually, I'd like Shemp Howard, but of course he died the year I was born. And uh, oh, Char Charles now, Manson is still incarcerated. Now so. we get into the, yeah, the well, metaphysics of it. So what, what's that? The spirit of Shemp Howard. Shemp Howard. In search of a body. Died in the back of a cab on the ride home from the boxing match. And I think his spirit just leapt right into me, you know, as I was being. Little baby Ben. Torpedoed out of the wind. Yeah. So.